Hi, the Equine Practice proudly presents Ask Doc T, another five minute guide. This is about sandwich boards. I want you to look at the stall wall in different perspectives. There's three dimensions. And this is looking straight down as if you were a bird looking down on a stall wall. And on the left and on the right are channel. Channel locks are, or, or I should say, these channels here, right here, are little uh, cup holders that hold the boards. And here you can see a board right along here has been placed between these two cup holders. Now if you turn this around so you're looking sideways, here's a stall wall here and here's another stall wall here and down here is your first board. Here's your second board, third board, and they're just placed into the slack really held in place. They're not glued in here. They're not nailed. There's nothing holding these boards but gravity going straight down holding these in place. This is how it looks as if you're in the stall wall looking straight out. Here this white uh, container is the channel and here's your first board, your second board, your third board, your fourth board. All stacked nicely on top of each other. Here Again, is the bird's eye view of the channel on each side, and here's one board I've illustrated in red, and you can see that it's no longer straight, it's bowed. Here's another board that's bowed the other way. Do you see this gap in here? This is a potential gap for a horse to catch its foot under. In other words, if his foot was right here and he could get underneath this board, he could actually lift this stack. Here, let me see if I can... Um, just uh, draw this a little bit right here. This board, let's say, is this board right here. And this board is now bowed out right here. So a horse's leg could come right up in this direction and catch it and lift it straight up, lifting all these boards going straight up. So here's the horse, here's the board. Uh, that's bowed out and here's the horse's hind leg and here's its toe catching that board and he's going to be pushing up as he tries to push himself away from the wall. He's going to lift that board off and you can see now that his, his foot has slid completely through. What's going to happen is gravity is going to take this down and it's going to guillotine. And guillotine is an awful, awful word. It's what uh, was used in the French uh, Revolution to chop uh, off people's heads. And this is going to come down and it's going to guillotine this horse. And he's going to be unable to lift this stack of wood back up. Remember, there's many boards, more boards on top of this. And that extra weight holds that leg down and the horse can't end up pushing it back. So this is the idea of a sandwich board. It is a vertical board placed right in here and it has several nails or bolts that come through and it sandwiches these bolt boards together. So no longer can this foot go up and push this out of the way.